Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. Just the highlights. Joint task force rescues several kidnapped victims, neutralizes scores of bandits. Court orders counsel in the murder of trial of lawyer Omar Bolanle Rahim to adopt final written addresses on next adjunct date. Lassoth debunks reports of fire incident. President Tinubu receives briefings from Chairman EFCC Abdul Rashid Bama. Troops of the Joint Task Force Northwest Operation Hadrin Daji have rescued several kidnapped victims and neutralized scores of bandits while also recovering military kits and cash of ammunition. The operation is in continuation of several earlier successful clearance operations conducted by troops of Operation Hadrin Dati in Zamfara State. On 30 May 2023, troops conducted another operation and cleared villages of Shinkafi local government area of Zamfara. Eight live cartridges were recovered, several bandits can discovered and destroyed, while four motorcycles captured were burnt. Justice Ibirunke Harrison of a Lagos High Court sitting at the Tafar Balewa Square Annex has ordered both counsel in the murder trial of lawyer Omobolanli Rahim to adopt the final written addresses on the next adjunct date. The judge made the order on Wednesday after the defendant, who is a suspended police officer, ASP Drambi Vandi, closed his defense after his testimony before the court. Earlier at the resumed hearing of the case, the defendant and his testimony was presented with a magazine of six bullets by his counsel, Jude Ogu, which had earlier been admitted as exhibits by the court. Contrary to an online publication, the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital is on fire. Professor Adeto Kumbo Fabanwo, Chief Medical Director of Lasuth, says the hospital is not on fire. According to him, it was a shop in the commercial area of the hospital, which is referred to as the Mami Market, that went on fire. Professor Fabanwo, while reacting to TVC News inquiry, re-emphasized that Lasuth is not on fire. Lasuth in recent times has upgraded a number of its facilities to world-class standard with the aspiration of offering upgraded services to patients from within and outside Nigeria. <music> President Bola Tinubu has received briefings from Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa. The FCC Chairman's visit comes barely 24 hours after President Tinubu intervened in the standoff between the Anti-Graft Agency and the Department of State Security. The President ordered the DSS to stand down and immediately vacate the premises of the EFCC in Lagos. He added that whatever was the trouble between the two government agencies will be resolved amicably. But it's not clear what was discussed between President Tinubu and the EFCC chairman at the private meeting.